Hey, what's up guys, BoHD here. Hope you are doing well. Uh, the public beta of Android 12 has been released. So if you own a relatively new Pixel smartphone, you can download it and test it out at your own risk. Just know that this is a public beta, so you're probably gonna run into some bugs here and there. Might not be the best idea to install on your main device, but it's up to you. What's also neat this year is that you can actually test it out on a handful of non-Pixel devices like the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro. So if you're interested, I'll place a link down below in the description to learn more. But um, let's just jump right into it and see what Android 12 looks like. First of all, Android 12 has received a pretty big design overhaul or expansion, I will say, on top of material design. It's called Material U and it brings a bunch of new animations, icons, and widgets. The colors of the system are dynamic and will actually change based on the wallpaper that you have installed, which is pretty neat. But let's start with the lock screen. We'll see that it has a new style with a new animation that makes the time appear more bold. You'll just see all sorts of new animations when you scroll through the, like the settings drawer or scrolling through various apps. Some are more subtle than others, but there are definitely a lot more than in previous versions of Android. The notification shade is pretty different in appearance. You have these big rectangular quick settings icons with rectangular notifications that you can snooze just like in previous versions of Android. The brightness bar is strikingly different. It's at the top of the notification shade now and it works just like you'd imagine, but it definitely looks way different. Um, and what's neat is that they've actually added the ability to make the display extra dim via this new quick toggle setting. And I think this is a great new feature because I always have to uh, go install a third party application to bring the display brightness further below the stock settings because my eyes are pretty sensitive at night when I'm scrolling through content. So uh, it's nice to see they added this extra dim feature here. If we jump into the styles and wallpapers section, you can select from a handful of styles and themes that'll update the icons and colors across the entire system. Um, there's only a, like a few selections here, but more of these styles and customizations options are coming, but you do have a pretty decent selection here in the beta that you can play around with. Now we have some new gestures, like the ability to swipe down on the navigation bar to open the notification shade. You can hold the power button to activate the Google Assistant, which is really useful, even though you still have the option to swipe in from the corner to activate the Assistant if you prefer that method. But a lot of what's included in this beta is just a taste of the new colors, the new color palettes, theming options, and animations that are sprinkled in throughout the operating system. Some, once again, are obviously more apparent than others. And what's also cool is performance should be drastically improved. I believe uh, CPU core usage has been reduced 22% and big core usage is down 15%. So performance overall should be noticeably better. I haven't really tested the performance in detail, but just swiping through the OS, opening some social media apps, the phone is buttery smooth. Really, really fun to use. We should also expect to see some battery improvements with the improved performance and various optimizations that are included here with Android 12. Now there's a handful of features that are not uh, available in this beta, but are still worth mentioning. We have this new privacy dashboard that is coming to help you view what permissions your apps have, and it'll let you customize those settings further and in a more easy to, to view and navigate way. There are new toggles for the mic and camera that'll appear in the quick settings. So you can literally just press these toggles and turn off access to the camera altogether so that when you open up like the camera app, it'll just like not work because the camera has been disabled system-wide just by tapping on one of those quick setting icons. So that's really cool. Definitely a win for privacy advocates. I think I mentioned this earlier, but there are some new widgets coming with more rounded corners and modern color palettes. But really the point of this new Android 12 beta is to showcase the, the new UI and design elements of Android 12 with obviously more customization features coming in future beta versions. So with that said, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Do you like this new Material U design language that Google is going with, uh, has going with Android 12? Do you think it's too in your face, too much? I don't know, I'm just curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. With that said, guys, I'm BoHD from Slash.TV. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.